Hi friends, how are you guys doing? Today, we are going to make some colored rice. Did you know you could color rice? I know, I didn't know that either. So what you're gonna need to do is get some rice. You can find this at the dollar store. And you can pour it in a bin or on a cookie sheet. You can put in as much as you want or as little as you want. I'm just going to use that much right now. Then you need something to change the color. You can use food coloring at home. You can put a couple drops in alcohol, rubbing alcohol or in water and dilute it and pour it over. Or if you have food coloring, you can put food coloring in it. So this is blue. I'm going to squirt some blue in and then I'm going to add some yellow. Do you know what color it's going to turn? Blue and yellow make a color. Do you know what it is? Let's try. I'm going to put a glove because I got to teach after this and I don't want this color all over my hand. Let's see what happens. As I start to change the rice around. Oh, it's turning dark green. Can you see that? It's almost a bluish green. So, friends, this here is wet. So, what I'm going to do is put it outside and let the sun heat it up a little bit. It doesn't take that long. I'll show you because I just did this right before Miss Ashley turned the computer. This is what I need. Look, friends. Whoa. It feels so good. We have sensory bins at school and our friends love playing in rice. So you can tell your mommy and daddy that you like playing in this. It's so good. It feels so good. So it's all dry. Nothing on my hands. So then, friends, you can take animals that you have and you can put this in a bigger bucket if you want so the rice doesn't get all over. That would be a good idea. You can just play with this. And you can put animals inside the rice and you can play. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, they're playing leapfrog. They're jumping over each other. You can bury them, and you can hide them, and then you can see which one's gonna come up out of the, out of the grass. Another fun thing to do after you're done playing with it, you can get a jar. You can get a plastic jar. That would probably be better. This is what we had at school, so we're going to use this. You can get a big one or a little one. I think I'll use this one. And we are going to put toys inside. And it's kind of like I Spy. Have you ever played that game? I Spy with my little eye. Something. Hmm. So I have bags of toys. I have animals that are at the zoo. I have animals that are from all over different areas, the rainforest or the desert. There's um, giraffes in there. There is camels, monkeys. And here's some that could be like a winter one. Hmm, I wonder which one I wanna put in. Maybe I'll put in some of these. Some things that maybe you find in the jungle. There we go. If we go on a safari, maybe I'll put a giraffe in there. Maybe I'll put a little, do you know what this is? What's this one? That's right. Elephant. Oh, here's a hippo. We can put different animals inside. Here's a zebra and a tiger. Maybe two elephants. So we can put some inside and then friends, what we're gonna do is fill up the jar. There we go. The thing I put on the top is called a funnel. 
to see how it's going in. You might need a grown up to help you with this, but you might not. It's kind of fun. It's good for you to do. So I am filling it up, and then I'm going to put some more animals in. Let's see. You want to leave a little room at the top, though, so you can move the animals around. They're going to hide in there. How about this one? Raw crocodile. Put a crocodile in there. That'll be good. Maybe a wolf. Oh, this one. I think this is an anteater. We don't have anteaters around here. And maybe a bird. Let's stick a bird in there. All right, let's see what's going to happen. Let's see if I can get all this in. Might need a little more. I don't know. I'll just try it like this. This one's got a pretty big neck on it. All right. So at your house, yours probably will have a lid on it because you're going to think about what you're going to use. This is just what we had at school. And this lid does not fit. This one's too small. So what I'm going to do is take a bag or a piece of plastic and put it over the top with a rubber band. And that's going to make a lid for it. All right, let's see what's going to happen. I might have too much in it, but maybe not. Oh, look, friends, I'm starting to see them. Do you see them in there? I see a wolf. I see the giraffe. I see an elephant. Let's turn it and see if we can find some more. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's the anteater, friend. Let's see. I want to get some different ones. Oh, there's the bird. I see a zebra. I spy with my little eye something. Oh, let's see. You see the hippo? Friends, you can play this at home. It sounds really nice too. It sounds like rain. Do you hear it? Yeah, that's fun. So you can just play with this at home. Then when you're all done, after you do that, you can pour it back out onto your tray and you can play again. You can pack up these animals, put them back in your bag, and you can try other animals. Or you could put in beads or you can put in different colored sequins or pom-poms. and You can do I Spy with My Little Eye. Have fun playing in your sensory rice. Bye, friends.